Hey there folks and friends, Guy King Dots here, February 17, 2014. I want to thank a subscriber of mine for having sent me this uh, great link here on a story that's breaking out across the U.S. Bizarre cluster of severe birth defects haunts health experts. I may have found the cause, I'm not 100% sure. I will share with you what I found and I'll also share with you here a, a video that was uh, censored. I've talked many times here how I'm censored by YouTube. Uh, many of you have complained how you're not getting your upload notifications. I make a video YouTube's supposed to send you a notification. Many of you complain you don't get it or you get it a couple of days late, three, four days late. Other folks have complained how they just get magically unsubscribed. Well, lo and behold, one of the things they've done is they've actually blocked me from sharing information here back in 2012 on what I found on, um, well, you'll see. On, I think it all ties into this story. Now, if you haven't heard about this story, it all has to do with this breakout here in three counties, Yakima, Franklin, and Benton counties. There's 23 cases of this anencephaly. Uh, now, I've found another story that apparently they're up to 27 now. Uh, regardless, uh, this, this anencephaly is a uniformly fatal birth defect that leaves babies born without part of their brain or skull. Now, remember that. That's kind of important here because I'm going to share with you, like I said, some of the information that was censored by Google that I couldn't share with you back in uh, April 2012 when I was doing these daily Fukushima videos so this all came about this 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 whole oh, oh there's a problem here it all came about with Sarah Benton or Baron I should say a 58 year old nurse a 30 year nursing veteran you know and, and she says in her entire career she's only seen one or two of these devastating cases and, and now she's working in an area here where she's doing 30 deliveries a month and, and, and there's two cases in a six month period she talks to another doctor and, and the doctor says, yeah, I've, I've found one also in the third end. Anyways, oh my God. And uh, turns out they looked all over the place at these different hospitals in the area. And they've got a cluster of them, folks. And uh, this story hits close to home. I'm right here in Victoria. This is basically around the corner from me. Now, have we had a cluster of any types of deaths? Because I know many of you have talk, I've been following me since the Fukushima stuff. I've talked about here on in British Columbia, Canada, we had definitely a, uh, <clears throat> a spike, an elevation in the infant death rate soon after Fukushima. It, it rose by 62% soon after Fukushima. And uh, oddly, the, um, the health authorities here had been started a new program just six months earlier to help new uh, born and um, new parents how to cope with making sure they don't their children don't die of SIDS so not only did they have a program to even lower the amount of infant uh, mortality death rate but it turned around it spiked by 62 percent do these have anything to do with Fukushima I don't think so there's a possibility here however you know once you go in here a little closer and I've marked everything off so everyone will be able to see what uh, these are all about so um, we have uh, how does this go again uh, Benton County Franklin County and Yakima County so it's ABC uh, the D is uh, Han Hartford, and many of you have heard of all this, the, the nuclear waste here at Hanford. I'm not sure if you heard about it, but major waste here. The, the uh, containment vessels that are buried underneath the ground, they're leaking into the Columbia River. Could it affect everyone? How do you explain this one? And this is where D comes into. This is the, the old Yakima Training Center. I'm not sure if it's still running. It was a military uh, training center where, guess what they did? They shot depleted uranium shells, and I found this story here back in uh, was back what was it, October 30th, 2013. I'm not going to read the entire story, but basically they talk about how the U.S. is using uh, these de depleted uranium um, bullets at these different locations, and it says that uh, the Army has enough depleted uranium at these sites that under the Atomic Energy Act and NRC regulations, it is required to have a possession license. The Army substituted. Uh, submitted a license application in November 2008. The initial license covers only the depleted uranium at the Hawaiian sites. In the future, the Army plans to amend the license to address depleted uranium at other sites and gets, guess where one of these sites is. You got it, Yakima Training Center. And oddly enough, uh, the lady here, uh, the hospital that she's worked is right on the Yakima River. Is it all connected? Hmm, I don't know. It seems to me that uh, possibly these um, 
birth defects that were in these towns possibly have something to do with the water that they were drinking. However, the article says they tested the water, they tested the med not the water, I mean, they, 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 they were trying to find common links in these all these women here in these different towns. So they tested their medication, their water, they weren't drinking the same water, weren't using the same medication. So I, I don't know, it, could it be depleted uranium? Possibility here, and that's what I want to share with you. Um, Back in 2012, uh, April uh, 15, you can see here, I uploaded this video. Uh, video Google, YouTube won't let Dr. Uh, Christopher Busby share with the whole world. I was hoping I could upload it and I could share it. No, I'm the only one that can see it. Uh, it's rather unfortunate. You know, when I, Dr. Christopher Busby, uh, I have to get into this. I feel like I'm partially responsible for him losing his job at the University of Ireland because he made me an offer you know, in 2011 when I did the Cross Canada radiation tour. He con well, actually con got a hold of me indirectly to another person, another subscriber of mine, asking if I would like to send my radiation samples to the University of uh, Ireland. And two months later, they fired him. And there's only one other person that knew about this conversation that the three of us had. And that person's Arnie Gunderson. Is Arnie Gunderson responsible? I don't know, but it sounds very uh, suspicious because Arnie contacted me through another person asking me if I would like to send me send him my rain samples. And I said, no, I'm sending them to Dr. For Christopher Busby in Ireland. And like I said, a month later, I found out he lost his job. Rather unfortunate. Anyways, the video here I would like to share with you is uh, this the Fallujah video. I can't play the whole thing. It's a long video, but I'm going to play just a snippet of it here so you get to hear about the birth defects. Uh, we have seen many other types of deformities. He's not alone. Some are more severe than others. We have some babies born without skulls, without... Yeah, not good. So is it anything to do with depleted uranium? I'm not sure, but in Fallujah, that's definitely the problem. If you watch the entire story, this is what it is. Uh, the U.S. Army was u using depleted uranium shells there, and this is what they have, an ongoing crisis of uh, children born with birth defects. Now, if you didn't see yesterday's video here, I was talking about a narrow line of radioactive pollutants. They're making their way all across the, the ocean here. This was a new study here from the Journal of Ocean University of, of China. It's, you know, no surprise here. We've been talking about this beelining right for the West Coast. I also talked about uh, Jacques Cousteau's son, who warns Californians about the Fukushima plume. It could be dangerous, keeping an eye on reports. Heck, it is dangerous. He talks about the touch uh, not eating the bluefin tuna because of the pollution. I've talked about this also. It's the lead, uh, the mercury, I mean, folks. Uh, I talked about in Canada here. They, you're not supposed to eat more than one can per year. All the food banks here are giving one can per month to all the poor people. It's rather unfortunate, but they're going to have some severe problems here. Okay, and another thing I showed here was this map that was put out by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, and it talks about in Fukushima in 2012 exactly where the radiation was sitting according to them. Uh, well, you know, if you go in a little closer here, here's Japan. This is where it was sitting in 2012. Every video that I've showed here and every study that's come out, the German, the Australian one, the, the, the Chinese, North Korean one, uh, the, this Chinese one you just saw, everyone said the same thing. They're all coming here and you can actually kind of see it already starting to head its way here, folks. So I don't know why the authorities aren't doing anything, but I mentioned here before how I'd like you to contact the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. I'll leave a link down below. All I'm asking you, it's very simple here, and it doesn't you don't have to live in Canada, US, and you live anywhere in the world. Fill out the thing. Don't even give them your real name. I don't care. Really, I don't care. I just want you to be write them a pleasant little letter and ask them, please, as a, consume, a concerned human living on this planet and having very limited access to uh, radioactivity testing equipment, that you'd like to have them test the seafood. That's it. it. It takes two seconds, please. And if you live in Canada, I left the phone number. It's right there, 1-800-442-2342. And there's a local number in Ottawa. Please call them. Let's do this together, okay? I can't do it by myself. I mean, I can send one, what I'm going to do, make up a bunch of fake names. I mean, I could do that, but that's not very good, and they could probably figure it out. Regardless, I'm asking you to join in here, folks, okay? Help me out. We can do this together. And one of the things I also talked about, if you didn't have a Geiger counter and you want to keep track of the radiation, right here on my website, connectingdots1.com, okay? Here, you can Google that. It shows up 